Well, sentencing is still a week away in the case of confessed teen murderer Logan Mott. The 17 year old admitted to stabbing and shooting his own grandmother to death two years ago. Now, his guilt is not in question, but the terms of his plea deal mean his sentence could range by as much as 25 years. So how much prison time will Logan Mott get? Well, a recent sentence by the same judge could offer a clue. On your side, Ann Schindler has been digging into both cases and tells us why there could be reason to expect leniency. Those are red flags. The outlines of the crime are brutal, as one psychologist testified. A sadistic acts such as stabbing the grandmother multiple times, including three times in the head after he shot her. Prosecutor Joe Lacandro urging the judge to impose the full 40 years. This was a violent death. This was a terrible death. But Logan Mott's attorney introduced experts who argued the teen deserves leniency. I will never be able to forgive myself. I killed my own grandmother. Mott himself expressed remorse to the judge, calling his grandmother my friend, a mentor, my refuge. But in deciding what sentence to impose, the judge may look less at the case's fraught emotional elements than the law itself. So the still developing teen brain. In his questioning of Lacandro, Circuit Judge Bruce Anderson noted several times that the law is clear teen brains are different. Adolescent brain, I don't argue with any of that. Uh, I think well, that I don't think anyone can argue with the, the concept of a developing brain because those are findings that were made by the U.S. Supreme Court. It's a law that Judge Anderson relied on heavily in his recent resentencing of Jackie Cogdell, a juvenile convicted of murder at 17. People can change. In his order releasing Cogdell after 39 years in prison, he wrote, youth is more than a chronological fact. It is a time of immaturity, irresponsibility, impetuousness, and recklessness. For that reason, he said teens are constitutionally different from adults for the purposes of sentencing. Jackie's attorney, Terry Sopp, called it one of the most powerfully written orders she'd ever seen. Based on what we've known all along, that juveniles are immature and they're not really adults yet. Of course, this case and its circumstances are different, but the law and the judge are the same. The Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.